Going to the auto shop, gonna play me some games while I wait. Oi, classic Windows. Well, uh, it's fine, I have time. One eternity later. All right. Uh, oh, okay, okay, come on. Really? Okay, okay, I, I, it was worth it. Let's, let's get back on that grind. What? No, 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 come on. Benzer, your oh, car is oh, ready. Oh, no. Come on, you worthless piece of shit. Hey, you hear me, boy? Duh. Well, 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 what do we have here? Boy, you playing some My Little Pony? <laughs> oh, no. What's wrong, sweet cheeks? You embarrassed? Oh, no, come on, Windows. <laughs> Boy, you done effed up because you should have installed Mazat like a real man. Because you're my little pony now, boy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, mother of pearl. Oh, wow, that was a crazy dream. Sure is a good thing that I installed Bazite snitches. All right, so let's talk about Bazite. It's obviously more complicated than this, but basically all you need to know about Bazite is that it's a Linux-based operating system that's made specifically for playing games. Think like Steam Big Picture Mode on your desktop or SteamOS on the Steam Deck. And fundamentally, it's almost identical to SteamOS, uh, and you could use that too, but personally, I use Bazite and love it, and I do think it's just the best option right now. Let's talk about some reasons that you should install Bazite. And we're just gonna start off with the biggest, and that is sleep slash standby mode. It is seriously game-changing, especially if you have a family like I do. Since installing Bazite on my ROG Ally, I've been able to play way more games, but also feel less like I'm neglecting my more important responsibilities. It's so convenient. It's like I can be playing for a little bit, and my wife's like, oh, I need help with dinner. I'm like, oh, boom, to sleep. I can be present. I don't feel like a bum playing video games. Uh, which is super nice. It pretty much made the difference for me either playing games on my ROG Ally or not playing games on my ROG Ally. And what I mean by that is when I had Windows, I just never played because I knew it would take like at least 10 to 15 minutes to get running. And I know that's not every time, but it seems like every other time I was having to update Windows, to update Armory Crate, or just having games, like having issues with going into full screen and being windowed. It was just glitchy, like Windows is just glitchy. And my experience so far, I think I've had Bazite for about eight months and it's just been great. It's it's been super smooth and you know you do have to update it but the updates don't take as long it's typically just a better overall experience and honestly guys i feel like this reason alone is enough to switch to bazite because guys let's be honest what's even the point of having a pc handheld if you can't just pick it up and go for most of you, I really do feel like Bazite is the way to go, but there is one thing that might be a deal breaker. Uh, many games that require anti-cheat will not run. This includes, but is not limited to games like Fortnite, which I don't play, so I don't really care. But if these types of online games are primarily what you're gonna be playing on your PC handheld, Bazite may not be right for you. And if you guys are curious of which games will and will not run, like with anti-cheat and stuff, I'll put a link down in the description for you guys. And that's pretty much the main and only reason I think you should avoid Bazite. You know, if, if those are pretty much the only games you play, it's just not gonna work out very well. Another smaller reason would be if all of your games are just in different spots. It works best for Steam. You can integrate games with other marketplaces and stuff. It's not quite as streamlined, but it, it does work. Another reason is that, you know, it is Linux. And so if you're not familiar with Linux or you don't like Linux, you know, that may be a reason, but that's really only gonna be a problem if you're wanting to customize a lot of stuff because it, it's not really at all customizable it's not made for that it's made just to be smooth less janky less buggy it's just made for gaming it's not made to to customize a bunch of stuff so if you like to customize you know for that reason maybe you want to keep windows windows is dog water and guys, installing Bazite is actually really simple. I won't be doing a full install in this video, but to give you a simple overview, you'll download a file from the Bazite download page, flash it to a USB drive, run through a series of install prompts similar to a Windows installation, and you're good to go. And I'll leave a link in the description for one of my older videos where I installed Bazite on a mini PC. And if you guys are on the fence about Bazite and want the best of both worlds, technically you can do a dual boot system where you have part of the partition is set up for Windows and part of it is set up for Bazite. But really, I only recommend this if you guys are advanced users and you know what you're doing. Now, I just want to throw this out there too. There has been some recent developments. Microsoft Xbox and Asus are releasing their ROG Ally X Xbox handhelds, and they've been working on a 
customized version of Windows. It's actually just like a mode that you can enter called full screen experience. And it looks really cool. Essentially, it kind of shuts down a bunch of those Windows processes that go in the background. The problem is, is it's not really super fleshed out yet. And I think it, you know, knowing Microsoft, it's probably gonna take a little while to kind of get to a point where it's gonna be like really usable. And I don't really know how easy they're gonna make it to load it onto other devices, you know? I don't really know if they'll, they'll make it easily accessible for like other handhelds like One X Player. And let me know in the comments what you guys think about Bazite. I really wanna know what your thoughts are and your experience with it. And if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Peace. Peace.